Hello, it's Sarah. And I've been thinking about doing a video like this for a while. Every time I dust, really, I think, hmm, I should do that. And was inspired to do it because Callie Black, Kirby, seriously, she just went out. Um, is doing, she has a little series up right now of her cottage tours. And I thought, well, I'm going to do it then too. Um, you guys have seen a little bit of my home here and there in videos, but I wanted to focus on how I've decorated my home using all the pieces that I've painted over the years and just made. I mean, this house is fully pretty much decorated. I mean, look, even this light switch cover, I painted it. <laughs> so we're starting right here in the hallway. This was one of the things I wanted to share, but we came from a very small home. My husband and I, we've been here about 20 years now, but um, we had a really small home, a two bedroom kind of rancher. We didn't have very much at the time. And so I just decorated every time I took a class or painted something, I put it up on the wall and it's after years of ha like, then I got like assortment, like the, the wall there, I'm going to show you in a minute, you know, redeck after painting again. And then I thought, no, I'm going to put these here. So anyway, um, forgive me because I don't remember a lot of the artists names. Some of them I do. Um, but it's been years. I mean, like I said, this one's 04. I know that this is called chinoiserie. It's a tech, damn that glare. <laughs> it's a technique that you use, um, with metallic powders and I'd love to try it again, but it was a class when I went away to convention. Um, I took this class and so everything's provided for you at the class. So you don't need to have the supplies. I'm sure I did buy them and I know that I painted a couple more of these. I don't know where they are at the moment, but that I love. It's all gold. I mean, with the gold foil that's going on right now, I mean, it's, it's magnificent and it's a little oriental scene. There's some silver. The birds are silver. It's just beautiful. And I know that that's Judy Dipe House. Yeah, pretty sure that's Judy Dipe House. Now this one, I used to take classes in Wall Township with a with a girl that lives there. And I'm telling, I my name, I can picture her. I see her, but I don't, I, her name is not coming to me. But that's just all strokes. And in the beginning, I took a lot of stroke classes. I have my bathroom light on to see if it makes a little more light. So these are um, trays and plates, basically. Um, the two in the middle, the plates are wood, and the rest are metal. Um, and I know this one was one of my very first ones because I wanted to do it over because I struck, it was paint mixing. See, I don't know if that light's better or not. Here we go. Um, and I mean, I love, love, love the birdie. I think the birdie is so cute. And I learned a lot of techniques and I learned a lot. So you can't scrap it, you know? I mean, like the pinks were not the right colors. I know they didn't come out right. Mixing wise, like paint mixing, cause I'm a bottle baby, I just prefer it. I don't, you know, I mean, if, well, anyway. But I love that. There's not even a date on that one cause that was one of my very, very first. And I'm pretty sure it's a Joe Sonia piece. Josonia Jansen, I'm pretty sure that's her design. This, again, is Melinda Ptula or my Judy Dipe house. They're a pair that live in, um, they're um, Distinctive Brush Strokes is their company, and they do lots of conventions, teach lots of classes, and I've painted with them a lot. So um, I definitely know that this little birdie was one of theirs, probably did it. I don't think it was a class. I think I just did that one, and that one says 03. This is Joe Sonia, definitely a Joe Sonia piece. Um, you know what? No, I th I'm pretty sure it is. Um, and that I did in 01, and I love it. I mean, and it's not perfect by any means, but it looks good. Oh, she's at, she's back. Sorry. You gotta stop, Missy. Go oh, stop it, Missy. All right. This one again is my Judy Dye Pals and Melinda Ptula. These are probably from a book that was 04. And I love it. I love them. Like I do. I don't think I'll ever get rid of these. Like these are just part of me. Every time I painted something, it was my baby. And I, and I mean, that's still the way I am when I create. I really have to hold on to things for a little bit. Um, this is, let me think. I don't know. I don't know who designed it. It's from 03. A totally different technique. You can tell every little petal has a, a line around it. 
everything was outlined. So a totally another technique and there's gold. I always love the gold accents around the edge. This, I wanna say, she's a very old artist, been around a long time. I don't even know that she's still alive, but it's one of her pieces and I did, I did it at convention, I think, or at a class, a chapter or something. All right, then above us, I have a door crown and that's my Judy Dipe House Linda Ptula, one of the two of those. And then behind me, I have this little hanging, and I know this was a class again with Judy. This is all again Judy or Lynn. Um, and this is all gold strokes around the edges. Kirby got the handle. The handle fell off and she chewed it. And I put it back up there. But these two I think were in a book. This one and that one were probably in a book. And then I'm gonna go in the bathroom real quick. I don't want you to see me in that mirror, but. This is, um, I know her name, hold on, and I love her stuff. Um, it's gonna come to me and I'm gonna tell you about, I've painted a lot of her stuff. She's a dry brusher and I've got tons of topiaries by her too, but look at all the work involved in that. I mean, I have one started in the basement that I never finished. I have, um, no, I, I finished most of them I think. I think that's the only, I did take a class. I went all the way to Texas to take a class with her and I didn't like the piece at all. I didn't, I learned a lot, but I didn't like the piece and I don't have it displayed at all. And it was a big piece too. Like it was like this little um, table type thing. I can't believe that, but it's true. Um, and I'm gonna think of her name. Anywho, I made this mirror. It's a stained glass mirror, just black and red. Figured it's like a burgundy red. So I figured I'd show you that. And then I'm gonna come out here again. This piece is, oh man, you know what? You have to, you just have to forgive me. I don't remember, these are so long ago. Let's see if there's a date. That's 03. Um, and that's a whole nother technique that I haven't heard much about since then, but we bought special brushes and everything to be able to get, um, the blending and the way the color went, in, like, I can't explain it, but anywho, I did that. So that's the hallway. And then as you come down further to the back of the house, I wanted to just show this little, that's kind of, well, it's Maya's area now, but that used to be our living area. Now we have a whole, another big one, but you can see that um, stocking there. Joe made me that, and I'm pretty sure that's another um, Judy or Lynn piece. Uh, Rosemary West. That's who did that big, I'll show you some more Rosemary West stuff, you'll see. Um, this is Sonia Richardson, one of my faves. This is, I've painted a lot of her stuff. Very whimsical, as you can see. This is my one day, your prince will come. And all the like, just dry brushing in the back and Oh my God, she's so amazing. But I think my froggy turned out so cute. And there's just daisies, there's a ladybug. But see how it has feet? Look how whimsical. See, I can't do that. I can, if they tell me what to do, I can do it. <laughs> All right, so then this table actually was a class. Um, David Jansen, his name is, and I took it at Steph's Folk Art Studio. He's Sonia Jansen's son, and they don't get along, but David, he wasn't the best teacher. Um, this was a weekend seminar that I took. He really just liked to play around in class and liked to play with his, what did he call them? His, I forget, his monsters or something. All the women that follow him around from class to class. And so I didn't get very much out of it. It was disappointing. Um, so a lot of it's not finished. I think I got my people finished but I don't paint this way, so I really needed his instruction. It's a lot of um, brush mixing and, or, you know, color mixing and stuff like that. So his directions didn't really make sense to me. Um, and so for me to just come home, and I should have finished it right away, but I was exhausted. Um, but none of the flowers, I mean, very few. Let's I don't think any of the flowers are done. And I mean, it goes, there's fruit, it's all around it, but I love it. It's still, you know, has to be in here. 
I don't know where that cut off. But these are all the topiaries I was telling you about. These are um, Rosemary West, and I was addicted to these, as you can tell. And they would come in kits, and the place is closed now. Um, the place in Texas that I told you about that I went to, it was called Unique Woods. And he, she used to teach there, and he would create all these pieces. And all this is glued together, different finial pieces, candlesticks, that little like piece here, um, the egg, and then you put it all together. But I mean, it's all her dry brushing techniques. Um, and I just, I was in love with these for like a long time. As you can see, look, there's a little egg inside that one. This little snowman. And we did this a chapter. We just ordered all the pieces and we painted a chapter because snowmen are pretty easy to paint. You don't, there's not much to it. Um, and it's just an upside down box, but there's a little snowman in there. And then this, we did this a chapter too. This little bunny has carrots inside. Um, so you just ordered the kit and then kind of, it wasn't, there wasn't too much to it. These little, I have more too. So then up on the wall, well up above there, I have one of my mosaics. Joe made, is that focusing? Yeah. Joe made the wood for a class that I painted. I had some left and I just took it and just, I don't know, I think it turned out pretty cool. I actually really love it. <laughs> um, I made baskets for a while. So this is my like honey basket, my bee scap. It has a little bee. Um, Uncle Bill made that ducky. Then there's one of my, uh, this is my little um, fairy door with my Wade guy on it. And I put him here because I have this little fairy house. And this is, um, You know what? I can't remember. I used to know all these every all these ladies' names by heart when I painted um, because, you know, I knew who I liked and who I didn't. But look, there's a little fairy there. Super cute. I love these pieces. So this is how my home has turned out. I mean, it's me. My husband's very <laughs> generous to live here along with me because it's kind of girly. But... Um, Oh, and I did this birdhouse. I think this was Arlene Newman, one of her designs. She lives in Wall here in New Jersey, like about an hour away. I want to say I painted that with her. I definitely painted this birdhouse with her and this birdhouse with her. This was one of my very, 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 very first ones. And I don't... See, that's the old school folk art type stuff. Look at those roses. That's like the old school kind. So this was just like washes of color. It was called whitewash. We used whitewash on the side of the house. Um, so that was one of my very, very, very first classes because there was a girl in the neighborhood, this is another Judy Dipe house, that got introduced me to painting and she took classes with her. So that's how I kind of started going there. I love this piece. This piece is so sweet. Look at this little bird. And dogwood, right? Aren't those dogwood flowers? And then here's another mosaic I made. This one I put my little birdies. This is the birdie and the birdie. Look, I love this little birdie. Um, and these are baskets. I used I made baskets for a while. There's a woman in Port Republic, another town down the way, and she had classes at her home basket weaving so of course I was making them like crazy and Joe made me this little pegboard to put above the doors to hang them because what are you gonna do I mean I could give them away I guess and stuff but I love them and look I even painted berries on this one it's a blueberry basket so I painted blueberries and then this piece was one that I did with my friend Patty who has now since passed away and one of our very first pieces I remember just kind of like should we yeah I guess like we didn't know what we were doing but it's a Sonia um a Joe Sonia piece and I love I know art they both looked so different hers and not mine I'm a heavy hand and she's such a light touch so it was so funny to see them when they were done because um they were so different. But look, this was a class I took. 
I love this piece. This was so fun. I did this at convention. This was 05. Maybe one of the last conventions I went to, and I want to think of her name, because her, I can't. But her pieces are so, it's just, again, another style all to its own. But that, isn't that, oh my God, super cute. And then here's one of my fave, fave, favorite pieces. I'll probably always have this on my table. It's really starting to get beat up. Max, I had a blue and gold macaw, bit this before, put like, you know, he would be on the table and like he just pick it up and try and throw it and stuff. But this is again, Rosemary West. And I just love how it turned out. Like I just think it turned out super cool. Like it's probably, I don't even know if it's getting wiped off. I should probably varnish it again, even though I, oh, I did that in 04. But these grapes are fingerprints. We just put paint on our fingers and went like this. Oh my God, so cool. And I took this, I took this with, Ro no, I didn't take it with Rosemary. I painted this out of her book, one of her books or a pattern packet. I had lots of pattern packets. So we're gonna move over here. This is another um, Sonia Richardson piece. See, look at the whimsy. Just like my froggy, but this is just a fairy with a basket of flowers. Uh-oh, there's stuff on the wall. I don't wanna show you that. This is, I don't remember, but it's a Christmassy piece. It just has my Sarah A. I used to experiment with like different ways to sign everything. This is like a lot of different um, floats to make shines and highlights, dry brushing. Like I think my pears turn out pretty good. Like I got really good. When I stopped painting, I was pretty good. And then I stopped. So I don't know <laughs> that I can totally remember exactly how I did that, but like, I don't even have a date on that one. And then here's another one that I did. This, these are both kind of Christmassy pieces, but my colors in my house are burgundy. So I have burgundy as an accent color. So it kind of just played into my hands. This one probably, let's see if there's a date. Oh, I love the background. The background's like a modeled, I don't know if you can tell. That's a nice glare, Sarah. Oh, geez. But anyway, all right. So now we're going to move to this little piece here. And why I wanted to show you this is because this, again, it's another Lynn or Judy that's um, distinctive brush strokes from one of their books. And this is a basket. It's just like, I don't know what kind of basket you consider it, but um, at convention, there was a company, and here it is, Pesky Bear, and it's out of New York. But they would come to convention and they would have their wares. And so, of course, and these are expensive baskets, very expensive. And I never stained it or anything. I left it naked, but I painted it with some country. I think we did this at Vicky's, though. I might have done this at Vicky's. I used to take from a local woman, um, Vicky Schwartz, in 04. I think that might be a Vicky piece. And she probably provided the basket, too. Now, this is a piece that I got from either Michaels or AC Moore. And you guys, I think they're still available right now. It's just a box and it has wicker drawers in it. And I just painted daisies. I did a lot of, you know what, I'm gonna go over here. I did a lot of um, light switch covers with this pattern. I've done door, like little door hangers, things that hang on your doorknob. It's just a really quick, I used to sell them at um, craft shows. But this one has strawberries and little bees. And this is Judy and Lynn again. That's a Judy and Lynn piece. But it's just a cool way to um, keep your stuff. You know, this is like my husband's little section. It's He throws mail in here. This is like his headsets and his eye drops and just stuff. That's my, my Valentine card I gave him. Um, this is our, uh, I painted this. This is again, Lynn or Judy, distinct, distinctive brush strokes. And it's an address book. Don't really use it <laughs> very much anymore, but, um, it's hand painted. I love it. Um, so that just kind of stays there. And here's another, I'm pretty sure I did this at Vicky's too. Vicky Shorts. Let's see if there's a date. Yeah, this was in the beginning, I guess, but... She used to paint a lot of country stuff, like hardcore country. You know, these are called Crocs, and oh, my battery's dying. 
um, Crocs and, and just total like, see this was a Vicky piece and this was a Vicky piece. So they totally tie in. They have, well, it's like a country blue background. This one's kind of more of a green, but they still, you know, play together. And then another Lynn or Judy tray. And I just did this from one of their books. Let's see if there's a date. What? You guys see? See how it's, you know, you should definitely date your stuff because then you'll know when you did it. So up above, I have this. This is actually a butterfly house. Uh, Roz Stallcup, her name is. And I took it at chapter, but um, Roz didn't teach it. It was one of the girls from the chapter taught it, I'm pretty sure. And these lilacs are, but it's a butterfly bush, were so hard. I mean, because it's so easy to mush them and muddy them, but I think I got it good enough to where, like, you can distinguish petals. The butterflies were easy because they're just, you know, and then just some tendrils and stuff. But this was one of my first, oh my gosh, 97. <gasps> I actually put the date on that. I'm so proud of me. So 97, that was 18 years ago, right? So yeah. So one of my very first pieces. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. But again, it's that whitewash. See the whitewash background? I think Roz did a lot of her um, pieces um, with that background. And then, of course, here's my mom. I, sh I shared this, but this is just an altered um, printer's tray. And that's my mommy when she was a little kid. And I just, this is when I very first started paper crafting. There's no date, but it was just, oh my gosh, everything I had, <laughs> I threw in that. Um, and look, a bottle cap. I even have a bottle cap hanging here. All right, so what? I'm not going to do the kitchen. I could do the kitchen because there's a couple things. Yeah, I'm going to walk over to there. It's not too messy. Um, oh, I have a couple. I don't want to show the dining room for sure because it's like our catch-all mess. Um, another, this is probably Lynn and Judy, light switch cover, and then up here, this is another class that Patty and I took together, um, and we went to um, Lancaster and did that, and I love it, it's another Joe Sonia piece, but she didn't teach it. Spotted roosters and speckled hens, this is where the fun begins. But it's a really monotonal type tray, and I love it, and it's filled with dust. Um, door crown. I was really into door crowns for a while. Oh my God, there's dust bunnies, total dust bunnies. Um, <laughs> um, and this is Lynn and Judy again. I painted so many of these and I sold them at craft shows. And that is so much work. I think I would get like 40 bucks for that. I could get 40 bucks. But look at that beast gut. That was so fun to paint. So I really, really love that one. And then you come down and... This was a piece, and I'm pretty sure, um, sorry, her name, I just said her name. I used to take classes, uh, Vicki, but I'm pretty sure her husband provided these wood pieces. Her husband would cut a lot of wood, so one of my very early pieces, I think, did I sign it? No, but it was very early, but see how country? It's really country, just birdhouses, you know, and stuff like that, and those, um, uh, you know, the name of Jiggies. All right, so I'm going to move across the counter a little more because this is one of my faves. This is um, a glass plate, and I took it at convention with the artist who created it. Um, starting to, some of the paint is starting to come off. I should probably take it out and spray it, but every time I wipe it, I feel like I'm losing a little bit of paint. It was from 05. But I had a lot more paint on the water, and then she just suggested that we wipe it off, and I love how that turned out. And it has dragonflies, which I love, so that's one of my faves I'll probably always have. Because it's different. I've never, you know, like, see how I'm losing some of the little punks coming off? I hope I, I think I should try and preserve that somehow. Um, but I love it, and I'm going to try, oh, here we go. This is another Vicky piece. This is a paper, I mean a sandwich bag holder, and I love it. I love all of them. That's why they're part of my home, but look how country. So country. I mean, it's a barn and a house, and those little roses, those very country roses, and it's all stained and stuff because it's been up here for so long. 
And then this is definitely one of my very, 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 very first pieces. And it's a paper towel holder, but look how banged up the roof is. It's just a mess. But this is one of Vicky's. Let's see if I have a date. I could have sworn I signed this one. Hold on. I think it does say Sarah somewhere, but I don't think I put the date. And it's speckled. See how it's all um, spattered? That was very big, like with country. Um, and I've painted, I think I taught this. I even taught this class when I started teaching. Um, because it's so basic, it's really easy. And you spatter the heck out of it. But that's been in my kitchen for so long. Um, I would love to show you this window, but I don't think, maybe if I stand back, but it's because of all the, okay, there we go. All the lights coming in, but that piece at the top was made for me. It was when I first um, just, I, I've always loved, stay, oh, there's a door crown. Let me get, well, you know what, I should stay here and I'll do the door crown in a minute. Um, a gentleman was at uh, one of the shows that I go to just to shop and look around. And I generally, I don't buy a lot. I tend to want to make it myself and so I always pass it up, but I have bought a few things. But he, his wife was a quilter. So he was making these stained glass quilted pieces and he came over and he measured my window and he made this for me. And I want to say I paid about 150. That's not bad at all. And I love it. And we kind of, he sent me emails back and we, I changed the, the leaves on the flower. He had them only the first two cuts and I made it wider. And so we collaborated a little bit, but I love it. I think you did such a great job. So then the pieces down the bottom are mine. I made the tulip, the angel, and that little fairy, which you can't really see her. And she's wonky, and je she's just very delicate because I had to solder her wings to her, and it was hard to do, so I try not to move her too much. Um, and then above, another door crown, which I love, and I've painted it several times. It's a very easy piece. It's a Lynn or Judy piece, distinctive brush strokes, and I painted it many, many times because I sold these so much, and it, it works up really easy, so that's why. And let me see. <laughs> all right, that's pretty much all the stuff I've painted that I can share. Um, actually, you know what? My, I'm going to go in here. Why not? It's a mess, but this is one of my very, very, up oh, there I am. Don't want to show me. First pieces ever, because look how like clumpy the trees are. I would have done those better. This is a piece by... You guys who paint know, um, because you can't miss it. You know what style it is, but it's one of my very first, I have to say. Most of these are, because then once the house got filled up, <laughs> I had to do something else with them. Or, but a lot, this is very beginner, because um, I know the techniques would be better. I'd be better at them now. Um, so that mirror's there. I have a door crown up here, a big one because it's over my, that's my craft room. So I have that one. And I've actually painted a ton of Maxine Thomas pieces, and this is a Maxine Thomas piece, but I don't have them up, and they're very country. See how country that is? And I have the rooster that matches down there. This light lamp, I'm sorry, what is this? It's a shade. I used to teach these too. And when you turn it on, I mean, I guess, but the butterflies, there's butterflies on the inside that show up. I mean, I can see them, but you guys, it's like kind of hard to see them. Um, this is one of my fave mosaics. This is my fave mosaic, but I wish the flower colors were brighter, but I just used what I had. <laughs> it's crazy because... Everywhere you go in my house, it's like something I made. Um, I, I love it though. Like I, I don't know. Um, this Joe made me, it's a big old CD holder. This is another Maxine Thomas piece actually. That's a Maxine Thomas, but look, very country. See how country? My batteries. 
Um, and let's see. All right, I might as well finish off this room. Stained glass, birdie. I made him. It was a kit. Can't really see that. Stained glass, hummingbird. My only quilt that I ever made. It's a rag quilt, and I love it. It's the only one I ever finished. There's my birdie. Can you see him? I love him. All right, I think, oh, no, there's a Maxine Thomas here. And I don't know, it's just kind of stuffed in this corner, and it should be out more prominently in lots of Maya's games and stuff. So that's it, guys. Oh, my gosh. I hope you enjoy this. I hope it's not too much, and um, I'll try to get to crafting. I haven't been crafting as much. Um, been out in the yard. All right? That's it now. Thanks. Bye-bye.